This 26 Sports and CCTV High School Volleyball presentation is brought to you by Wolverine Power Cooperative and Great Lakes Energy. Your local electric cooperative is looking out for you. All right, welcome back to game number two. We just missed uh, Brooke Kahani getting a kill for the Vikings. It's one to nothing and serving for the Vikings and getting a point. Uh, Dan, that was number five, Carly Scott with the serve yep. for the Vikings. Hey, well, Carly uh, is serving here in case you missed the first set. Uh, Petoskey wins that one, 25-22, and a very good set. Very even all the way through, Bill. Very good game, just great volleyball. Petoskey made some plays at the end to pull that out as the Vikings jump up 3-0. Hey, everybody, we want to certainly uh, mention uh, who's making... All of us look good on air and what you're getting to watch right there. We've got three camera operators tonight. We've got Sean Strachan on camera one, Jacob Fulis on camera two, and, and welcome tonight. First timing it for us. Sophie Hammaker is taking care of camera three. Bill Dooley's doing the play by play here and he'll jump in in a moment. I'm Dan Gusser doing a little bit of color. Our graphics and replay is Heather Stilson. And directing tonight from the truck is Wyatt Van Deneen. All Van right. Dynan. Van Dynan. I could hear him cringe in the background. Okay. Jordan Ellens uh, into the game. Dan, and she's coming off a knee injury, so we'll talk a little bit that in a second. But the Vikings, Jordan Ellens will set it wide to Kapsinski. Dug up. They get one more hit after this. Jordan Ellens will put it to the back row to Knapp. Knapp to Meyer in the middle of the Colt. Colt will just dink it over into the middle and get the point for Petoskey. Oh. Yeah, Jordan's in there. You can definitely see that big brace she's got on there. She's the senior. So tough way to start her, her last year. Yeah, Absolutely. She had, a, she had a knee meniscus surgery, and this is actually the first day she's been cleared to play. Good job by um, Chloe off the net in the Vikings. Oh, what a save there by Knapp. Dug up again. Kahani with a nice dink right in there, but Toski able to get to it. Sherman with the big hit. Jordan Ellens over to Gabby. That one's blocked. Gabby puts it back up. This time Kahani tries it. Great volley going here. Petoskey sets it out to Sherman. There's a dig. Taylor, this one has to go over. Gabby will put it back row. Setting as Miller in the middle. There's a shot there by Anderson. Now it's wide over to Chloe Comstock. This time Miller will take a shot at it. And that one goes off the hands. Um, of number five, Carly Scott, and a point. That was a long volley. That was a very long volley. We got a little spectator running out on the floor here. Hold on, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> Cute little two- or three-year-old fella. Yep. Escaped okay. from parents. Rescued by the Vikings. That's that's uh, <laughs> Becca Uritas, uh little brother. <laughs> he gets a big round of applause. He there. does, yes. Oh, that's the kind of things you love. Jordan Ellens with the set. Gabby dinks it over the net. Toski gets that one pretty easily. Mila Sherman. Nice job there for the Vikings. And then getting it back is Mary Kate. But it was the same person. Same hitting person it. hitting it twice. Unfortunately for the Vikings, that ball hit up off the Raptors, came right <laughs> back to her. Four to four here in game number two. Petoskey is up one to nothing in the match. There's a great dig there. Back shot to Kohani and a point there off the hands of Sherman. Mary Kate Taylor will be serving for the Cadillac Vikings. They are up by one, five to four. Mary Kate puts it over to Megan Culp. Miller out wide to Sherman. That one is blocked. Goes back on the Vikings side. Jordan Ellens will set it for Gabby. Tipped at the net. Vikings will dig it back up. We got somebody in the net. Yep. While they get that set, I uh, just want to remind everybody about our sponsors for tonight's game, Bill. You've got Napa, that's locations, Cadillac, Big Rapids, and Lake City. We have Cadillac Tire sponsoring us tonight. And also uh, Wolverine Power Cooperative and Great Lakes Energy. That so one is for Vikings. Yeah. Gabby Kapsinski, and that one's a little long. There was no tip on it, so it'll be 6-5. to five. Uh, into the game will be number seven. Let's see who that is. It might be the first time. Annie Miller. No, nope, she was Miller, in yep. earlier. Okay. 
By the way, Annie Miller, Peyton Miller, kind of related to coach Heather Miller. Just a little bit. Yep. Yeah, they are sisters, and their mom is the head coach for Petoskey. That's great to see. Kapsinski with a dink off the net. Good play by Petoskey to keep it alive. They'll set it right back to Gabby. This time she puts it down. Into the game is going to be Maggie Neese for the Vikings, and serving will be Chloe Comstock. Carly Scott getting a quick breather for the Vikings. And uh, Chloe hits the net on that one. You can see the nerves a little bit for the sophomore. Yep. Chloe Taylor Bingham in coming in for Petoskey. Number five, Megan Knapp. Stepping out the court. Sherman puts it deep and a little bit too long. 8-6 Vikings now. Gabby Kapsinski serving for the Vikes. Jordan Ellens takes a little breather. Certainly good to see her back out on the floor. Oh, Congratulations on her healthy wonderful. return so far here for the Vikings. Yep, I was talking to her mom, Kim, before the game, and she was uh, not sure if she'd get any playing time, but, boy, she's oh. she's in, in game number two. So there was an ace there just, just a second ago by Gabby. Gabby will put it over to Sherman. There's a Bingaman tipped by the Vikings. The Vikings have to dig this one out. This one has to go over. They put it back row. Miller. For Bingaman, somebody's in the net. Yep. Well, Bill, when you got to send that over without any power or anything to it and you're just sending it because it's your third hit, if you were coaching, where would you want your team to hit that? If you can put it deep, you know, that's probably the – they always say good because if you have short, they can just yep. hammer it right back down. So, yep. Yeah, you want to put that in the back row, make them move a little bit, make them space back out. Yep. Absolutely. So you can get your defense set more than anything is the big thing. Megan Culp, six foot two, back in the game here for Petoskey. Center of the net. Pass to Gabby. Here comes a hit by Macy Brown, and she's going to get the kill. Good job by Macy Brown. Bingaman with a diving effort, unable to control that. Another thing I learned tonight is your libero can never spike the ball. Well, I shouldn't say never. We'll explain that in a second. There's a shot by Anessa Liptek on a good serve. Megan Culp. Uh, what happened there, I Dan? think uh, number eight right there, Peyton Miller, got into the net. Whistle blew. Um, Petoskey stopped the spike. I don't know if I would have been able to have that kind of body control yeah, to do that. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yep. Miller coming to get it is Peyton Miller. That's sister to sister there. Gabby sets it in short. Nice dig there by Sherman. Ah, oh, that's no, out. A little bit out. I yep. thought it was going to be on the line at first. Well, don't look now, Bill. Petoskey wins the first set. Young Cadillac team comes right back, takes a six-point lead at this point as we get our first time out of this set. All right. Bill, I'm going to jump off the mic here for you, and uh, we got a little guest announcer here for with us, working with you here a little bit. Great. We're going to welcome in here uh, to the booth Elena Hess. And uh, Elena, how's the, how's the mic sounding? Can you hear me Good. okay? Good, yep, I can hear you. All right. And Elena, uh, you tell us a little, little bit about yourself? Uh, I graduated from Cadillac in 2015. I was part of the volleyball team. Uh, I also played basketball and softball. Yep. Um, I went to Delta for two years after I graduated, and now I'm at CMU, and I'm majoring in broadcasting and minoring in sports management. All right. Boy, that's exciting, too. That's my alma mater years <laughs> and years ago. Uh, they probably have some statues of me there. Have you oh seen yeah, any of Oh, them yeah. Oh, yeah. I see them all over. Okay. All yeah. Over. <laughs> I, I thought they would be there. But uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Elena, just good to have you here and, and in the beginning helping us out, getting, you know, the pregame stuff going. So, uh, yeah, just jump right in here when you feel like it. The Vikings now with a 13 to 7 lead. And serving is going to be Anessa Liptek. It hits the net. Petoskey Miller out wide to Bingaman. There's a block by the Vikings, but it never went over. So the Vikings get the point. All right. Seems like the Cadillac's struggling with serving tonight. I don't know. Yeah, they have had several into the net. I mean, there's a shot there. Oh, Is yeah. It almost an ace, but what a save by Knapp. And that'll get a point for the Vikings. But great hustle by Megan Knapp, number five. I didn't think she had a prayer on that I one. know. Liptek now serving. 
This time, another hard serve to Anderson. Bingaman goes line. Liptek to Maggie Neese. She tipped it. The Vikings will get it back. Neese pushes it back row. Miller backs up to Culp, and she oh. drills it in the middle. That was a nice yeah. thing. What do you call those where they come around the back like that? Is there a certain name for those uh, attacks? I don't, I don't know, know. Maybe a tandem? I don't know. Back door or something. <laughs> something. No, tandems when they uh, have two people, and then the front one misses it on purpose, oh, and then yeah. the second one comes. That's a th I think it's a slide. <laughs> oh, yeah, slide. It's a slide. Yeah, slide, yep. You're right. I never, I'm sure I never played uh, <laughs> front row. I don't really know all the terminology there. Vikings are up 15 to 9. All right. Serving is Peyton Miller for the Northmen. Macy Brown will set it to Brooke Kohani. A little tapper over the net. Easy one for Petaski. Bingaman with the cross court smash. Kapasinski with the set to Brown. Brown off the block, and she gets the kill. Macy Brown's uh, helping him out this year. She yeah. wasn't expected to be on varsity, but she's yeah. doing good for him. And she looks comfortable. Yeah, I mean, she does. She's not afraid to swing hard, yeah. and she's been setting nice. Yeah, definitely helping him out. Maggie Neese floats one deep. Miller has to hustle for that one. There's a shot. Vikings will dig it up. Gabby set to Brooke. Over the net with a kill for Brooke. Kahani, and I do want to apologize to um, to Brooke and also to Maggie Neese and to Jordan Ellens. I was going to do the player profile tonight, but I forgot that paperwork at work, so we'll get that next game. Uh, that's something new that we're doing this year, Elena, as we're doing a player profile, so we just kind of feature some players on the Cadillac team. We talk okay. a little bit about them, so All it's right, kind, of, cool. kind of a cool thing this year. Maggie Neese serving. Miller sets it to nobody. It went right in between um, Hannah Wager and also uh, Bingaman. 19 to nine, what a turnaround from last game. Yeah, oh for sure. Uh, we got a substitution, Wager is out and in is number 10, Katie Holka. Nice serve by Maggie. Holka with her first hit, that one's blocked. Petoskey pushes it back over the net. Here's a reset for the Vikes. This time they're going to go to Brown. Brown with a hard hit off the hands, and that one falls in. So Macy Brown is really uh, adding some punch. Yeah, for sure. Definitely helping him out this year. Maggie Nee still with the serve. It's 29 Vikings. Nice low serve right at the net. Megan Culp had to hit it a little bit too long. At what point do you think they might call a timeout? It's 20, you know, or? I would say soon. Yeah. Gotta be. Yep. Next point, maybe, if they don't get it back. Megan Neese, almost a carry. Out wide this time, and the Vikings block it down and never went over the net. 22 to 9. Still no timeout? <laughs> well, Coach Gonna Miller was out. thinking about it. Both and teams have good height. Yeah, they do. Nice is served. There's a tip. Vikings, Mary Kate Taylor. There's a push to the back row. Beautifully done by Gabby Kapasinski. Got that radar going. Can you say Maggie Nice going to finish this out the next two points? Well, what a, what a run she's been on. Back row, a nice high serve. It's going to hit the backboard. Oh, and, <laughs> and it'll be a jump ball, right? Oh, no, that's <laughs> fast. Okay. No point on that one. It'll just be a reserve. <laughs> Only in volleyball can the ball <laughs> disappear. That's right. Out wide, pushing that back row. Mary Kate Taylor. Out wide to Chloe Comstock. Petoskey back into the middle. Isabel Anderson. Vikings are moving well now. Macy Brown puts it back row to Knapp. Miller, middle to Colt, blocked. Good play there. The Vikings, oh, they couldn't get out. Uh, Brooke couldn't get out of the way on it. Nice try by the Vikings. That was a nice little run there by the Vikings. Uh, coming in, we have number nine. Uh, Brooke, or no, not Brooke. Number nine for the Northmen, Mila Sherman. There's a long serve to the back row. Vikings. Chloe Comstock hits it long. So right now, petoskey has got a little momentum going. It's 23 to 11 in game two. We've got Elena Hess along with Bill Dooley right now bringing the action. 
Serving, we have Megan Knapp for the Northmen. Uh-oh, a little excuse me play, and the Vikings will get another point on that miscommunication there, Elena. Mm -hmm. All right, 23 to 12, the Northmen. Wait a minute, did they give Potoski that point? Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. I'm sorry. Yep. Here's a set to Comstock, blocked at the net. Miller will reset it for Sherman. Off Sherman to the back row to Anderson. Colt, back row to Taylor, to Gabby. Gabby out to Brown. That one's right at the net. Tried to put it down was Brooke Kahani. Sherman this time takes a hard shot. <clears throat> a little bit long, 24 to 12. All right, Jordan Ellens is checking back in for the Vikings. For She's heading to serve. Let's see if she can finish this one off. Jordan puts it to Sherman. Middle to Megan Cole, but she finds that weak spot right in the middle. Still alive are the Northmen. For the Northmen, heading back to serve, we have number 11, Megan Culp. Culp has a little bit of a jump serve. Mary Kate Taylor with a good pass to Jordan Ellens. Jordan in the middle to Comstock. Tried to put it away, but a great save there by Culp. Petoskey will just put a back row and Cadillac will reset. Here's a short serve. Brooke Kahani got two or three hits, but it's going to be another Petoskey point. They're not giving up. Nope. Culp is serving again. Culp is six foot two. She's a junior. A junior. That one goes up into the rafters, but misses everything. The Vikings have to get it over here. Good job by Jordan. In the middle, there's a great shot there by Isabel Anderson. Number three, she is a senior. And timeout by Coach Michelle Brines. And uh, Elena, let's see if we can get our sponsors in here. Uh, sponsoring tonight is Wolverine Power Cooperative and Great Lakes Energy. Uh, we also have Cadillac Tire and Napa with locations in Cadillac, Lake City, and Big Rapids. And our crew tonight, if we can get another shout out for them. Uh, tonight's crew, uh, Sophie Hamaker. Yep, that's her first yep. game on the camera right to our left here. Doing a nice job. Uh, Jacob Thewlis yep. and Wyatt, uh, Sean. Sean Strachan. He's and on camera. And Wyatt Van Dynan. Yep, good job. <laughs> I don't want to slaughter any of these names. Yep. And we have Heather Stilson and with on the replay and graphics. Yes. Megan Culp. That one is long, and the Vikings get their 25th point, and they win game two to tie it up at one game apiece. All right, we will take a timeout here so you can hear from our sponsors. We are tied at one. You're watching girls' high school volleyball action on 26 Sports and CCTV. We'll be right back. <laughs> 